It's time to freshen up the fuel system on this International 1066, so follow along with me. It's apparent to me that regular maintenance hasn't been performed on this 1066 and as a result it's starting to run poorly. If your tractor is having the same characteristics, whether it's um, starting hard, it's smoking, it's wet stacking, then it might be time to replace your injectors. I'm going to replace the injectors on this tractor and at the same time I'm going to replace the air filter and the fuel filters as that's all related into the fuel system. I'm going to give that whole system a fresh tune up so that it's ready to work here in the spring. So if you want to follow the same procedures on your own tractors, watch this video and at the end you'll have the confidence to do this on your own tractor. It's important to drain the coolant before you replace your injectors. So I put a hose right on my drain here and just drained it into a five gallon bucket. And then it's also really important to clean up the head here to make sure that there's no debris because when you take the injector out of the hole, you don't want debris to fall into the hole and contaminate inside. So that is important. You can use a blow off nozzle. You can scoop it out. When I took my hood off, there was a pretty giant uh, rat's nest up here by the gas tank. So clean all that up. It's not good to have that in your, um, inside your tractor. So there is one bolt here that's next to the injector. I'm just going to pull that the rest of the way with my finger since it's pretty loose. And then the next thing we'll take off is going to be the lines. You can use a line wrench on that like this. I have my line wrench right here. Put that underneath there and move it um, very gently. You don't want to overdo it on these lines and do damage to your line. And then lastly back here, um, you just have that last line to take off. You can see a little bit of diesel drip down in there. That's okay. You're gonna, that's going to happen since there's diesel in the system. So with those three pieces removed, now your injector is free and you're ready to pry that out of there. There we go. My injector is loose. It's going to pull right out. I'm using a slide hammer to put some pressure onto the injector to force it out. Sometimes these injectors will really be stuck into the block. Uh, you will need to use a pry bar maybe if you don't have a slide hammer like this. Work at it and stick with it. They will come out even if they're the original ones. This looks like maybe it was an original one to me. It's going to be a struggle, but you can do it. And you can pull all six of them out or four cylinder if you're working on a four cylinder tractor. I have my old injector in the test stand here. I want to show you what happens when you put an injector in a test stand. You can see a little bit of the spray there. Notice that it dripped before it sprayed. And I don't see fuel out of all four of my nozzles. The one on the top doesn't spray as much as the other three. Also, I don't see a really good atomization of the fuel there. So that is why this tractor is behaving the way it is because these injectors are indeed a little faulty, so this is a good way to test and make sure that the injectors truly are the problem that we are experiencing with the tractor. Now I realize that probably all of you don't have an injector test stand in your shop and that's okay. I put this in the video so that you can see what an injector test stand looks like and if you took your injectors to a shop, this is what they would do. That's what they're looking for when they are analyzing your injectors. So um, this is just for your information. If your tractor has symptoms that, it need, that indicate it needs the injectors replaced or if you just know that they haven't been replaced in recent years, then you can definitely go ahead and replace them in all the cylinders of your tractor. I'm ready to insert my brand new injectors into my tractor. This is what a new injector looks like. Let me take that sleeve off the top. You can see it's an exact replication of the original Bosch style injector that would be in these tractors. When you are ready to put new injectors in your tractor, you can purchase these injectors on my website. It's farmtractorrepair.com. Your purchase on my site will help to fund future tractor tutorials for you. So when I put this into the tractor, I always want my lines here to go towards the back. And also I'm looking, this clamp is gonna go on the side like this. So it's gonna insert, drop in there like so. Notice that I do have my existing rubber in here. And then also the brass sleeve stayed 
into my block. That's good. If yours happens to come out with your injector, you'll just need to make sure that you put it back in. And then at the bottom, I have my fire ring in there as well. So with all that, I'm ready to just slide that right down into the hole and press it down all the way until it's snug and then replace my clamp here. After I get this tightened up, I'll put my lines back on both the um, top and the back as well. The next component to a healthy fuel system is the air filter. This is pretty easy to replace at this point when you have the hood already off. So you just remove that clamp and then um, this will pull out here. This has got kind of a rubber washer, I guess you could call it. It goes, wow, 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 wow. You can pull this out and you can see how bad it is. I think it's been a long time since that one's been replaced. Next, there is a smaller internal um, filter inside. It's got a wing nut on here. Let me slide that around. When you purchase a new internal filter, it comes with a new wing nut and washer behind it. And both of these filters can be purchased on my website in addition to the injectors. Let me pull that out. That one doesn't look as bad, but we're still gonna go ahead and replace it. So let me slide the new one in here just like that. And here's my new washer with the rubber on back. Rubber side goes in, metal side out. You slide that around there. I'll tighten up the wing nut. And then I have this brand new filter that we'll insert on top of it. The next step is to replace both of your fuel filters that are outside the tractor right here. I have my filter wrench on here. I'm just going to slide these around. I have a pan on the floor that's ready to catch everything that's going to drip out. Let me see if I can loosen that up with my hands now. So I'm going to remove both of these. I'll put the new ones on and then I'll show you how to use this bleeder to fill them up so they don't start dry. I loosened up the bleeder and now I'm going to use the primer pump, it's a manual pump, to pump it until fuel comes out at the bleeder. That tells me that my canister is full, then I'm going to tighten it up. I also added coolant back into the tractor, so at this point we're ready to start it up and see how it runs with these improvements made. Good, it starts easier and it runs stronger. I'm excited to use this tractor and fully benefit from all those improvements to the fuel system. When you are ready to tune up your own fuel system, you can purchase the parts that you need at farmtractorepair.com. While you're on the site, we also have a great selection of IH hats and other licensed merchandise for you. And be sure to subscribe to our channel because we release new videos all the time.